regards to uh, the UCA and its membership and uh, who the leader is and what not. Can you give us light with regards to where UCA stands? Well, thank you so much for that, Nora. Um, as you may know, UCA was formed about eight months ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, we do have um, uh, seven political parties um, and seven presidents who are in the um, uh, Council of Presidents, you know, among us them are President Lungu of the PF, uh, President Kalaba of the CF, President Nawakwe, President Sharagateka of um, uh, New Heritage Party, President Jackson Tulawe of Gordon, um, um, Gordon Party of Zambia GPZ, and uh, myself, you know, from uh, NGC, um, you know, and then we do have um, uh, Dr. Paul Mumumba and uh, uh, Mr. Richard uh, Chansa, you know, who are in uh, what we call the Assembly of Presidents, uh, the two of them, um, you know. So UCA is us at the moment uh, trying to ensure that uh, we come together and we build something solid uh, for Zambians, um, you know. So in terms of presidency of the alliance itself, we have not yet chosen who the president um, is. For us, we want to come together, uh, solidify the membership of the alliance, and then later on say, okay, among us as this is the person that um, the people want. <coughs> it's very easy to know who the people want. Mm -hmm. We want to win elections. The UPND have really made Zambians suffer. You know, UPND should be a one-term government. And that is the reason why UCA even formed itself. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I came together and said, you know what? Uh, we don't have to put um, personal interests first. Let's put the people's interests uh, to be above our own so that we go out there, we mobilize our political parties, we come together and we say, this is the person, the, the person that the people want, and we ensure that um, we do just that. So when it comes to the leadership of UCA, UCA is um, a lead, oh by the way, I, I really forgot ULP, I, I think I, I forgot the political party, ULP by uh, Mr. Uh, Safima Sporta, State Council, and he is the chairperson of the alliance. Yeah. You know, so currently UCA is led by uh, Mr. Safima Sporta, our chairperson and the vice is uh, Madam Tishala Kateka. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, President Zach, uh, uh, Kalaba here is actually the chairperson of elections in Oka. You may know I'm the chairperson for media, President Slavi is the chairperson for communications mm -hmm. um, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, Madam Nawakwi uh, comes in as a treasurer in general. You know, so she's a chairperson of the money of Oka. You know, so that's how uh, it has been. There have been so many things that we've been trying to put in place and everything so that. Uh, uh, we get to a certain level that we really want um, uh, to go and we are happy that uh, uh, political parties amongst ourselves like the CF for example they are participating in these by-elections like the ones we have come for uh, here because these are amongst the things that UCA has been trying to do and is doing from the time that we are formed you get the point mm -hmm. in those formative stages so when you're in those formative stages there are things you say okay let's go left then you do you you do three four steps you decide you, then you think oh we should have actually gone right <laughs> you get the point yeah yeah so we thank god that um before the 2026 uh, general elections we'll be able uh to do a lot of things even make a lot of mistakes you know which of course we are learning from so that come 2026 we are able to know to say that time we moved left and it wasn't a good route let's move right mm -hmm. let's do this let's do that so that's exactly uh, where we are right now so for instance as we are laying down for for this program Mm -hmm. Of course, apart from the the sentiment that we saw, are there are internal struggles that we heard about on social media and various platforms mm -hmm. among the UCA leaders. Um, there are no in-house wrangles, and that is a fact. Um, you know, an alliance is like a marriage, right? You come together as political parties the way you people come together as <laughs> husband and wife, or just a relationship. Everybody comes in with their good and bad, you know. And sometimes you find that when you marry. Especially if it's your second marriage, you find that this one maybe had children from the first marriage. So you come together, you're trying to build one family, mm -hmm. you know. So as all as council presidents, we have children. Yeah. As presidents of uh, these political parties, we come with our children. So you find that among us, our children, some people may not get along, or others are saying, ah, we don't like our stepmother or stepfather or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's up to us to make sure that we harmonize everything and everyone. Mm -hmm. So those sentiments that have come from here, and they have tried to really, really uh, sort them out. I'll give an example. And this is one political party that has come, uh, which uh, uh, predominantly has members from the PF. A lot of people that have left the PF joined uh, NDC. 
So maybe I can safely say 80% uh, of NDC members had come from the PF4. Yeah. So when we are forming OCA, as the members were telling me to say, why are you taking us to PF where we, where, we, where we came from? So I had to convince my members to say, no, I'm not taking you to PF where you came from. PF is a political party on its own, NDC is a party on its own, CF, we are coming together. You get the point. And once we came together and they saw the vision that we had as leaders, they bought into that, you know. But there have been some of our members that have not really bought into that and have gone in the public and have said all sorts of things. Yeah. yeah, but I can tell you for a fact that despite some of our members having said a lot of things against a good number of the leaders, including myself, including President Kalawa, including President everybody, you know, us as leaders have been living in harmony and trying to make sure that uh, we solidify what it is that uh, we are trying to do. Because trust me, um, if we do not unite and do the right thing by the Zambians, the UPND are going to make sure that whatever is going wrong now, they'll continue with it. Okay. Because they won't have that strong, uh, um, what is this, opposition. The reason why we came together and said, let us have the United Kwasha Alliance, let's unite, is because we wanted that united force to remove them. Mm -hmm. you know? And I've been telling people to say, because of some of the social media uh, things that have come out, and some people even thinking that uh, maybe Oka may be breaking or something like that, it has even given impetus to the UPN government not start doing other things, you get the point. There were things that they had started doing. I'll give an example of how they started um, using people to fight the PF, to fight the NDC and everything. I think the funding for those so-called faction leaders had ended, you know. But because people wanted to create a situation as if there was a problem in Oka, we have seen that people now started being funded again to cause confusion. Okay, look at what is happening in Parliament. Before, they would do something in Parliament. Even when some of us don't have MPs in Parliament, we'd come and say, no, this is enough is enough. We would call the MPs, we would call the CF, we would call the PF, let's unite, let's do this. And we did joint actions together. You know, but when people create confusion, you find that when people are going through problems, everybody's on their own. So with, the, with that, the UPND has taken advantage. You know, we've seen what is happening in Parliament, we've seen what is happening to the MPs, for example. People are scared to say, uh, without a proper um, opposition and alternative, these people may go on. So why not align with, uh, with them? You get the point. Mm -hmm. There are people that are always so scared to be part of an opposition. They want to be part of a ruling party. You know? So if you don't form a strong opposition and show people that you are the alternative and you can take out this government, people who are not courageous, trust me, despite all the problems going on, they'll be very comfortable staying with the ruling party. And that is what we don't want as Oka. We want okay. to come out here and ensure that we give you that proper alternative give you candidates like Mr. Musonda here, so that when you vote for the councillor and you begin to see to say, so it's possible, eh? you can really uh, vote these people out. You're going mm -hmm. to see that the, the UPND, even the kind of things that um, they can do to us, the opposition, the MPs and everything, I think it will be, be limited. Interesting. And so um, you made mention of uh, the problems that the mm -hmm. country is going through. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them being in the energy sector. There's mm -hmm. a crisis there. Oh, yeah. As a United Culture Alliance, mm -hmm. what solutions do you have with regards to the um, energy crisis that we have? Because um, in the past, I think, two or three weeks, we've gotten to experience shortages of fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, cars would be lined up for some days. Mm -hmm. Others spend nights at the fueling stations. Mm -hmm. So what solutions do you have? Mm -hmm. Well, the solutions are plenty, and amongst them, is giving professionals to do their job. The problem we're having with UPND is that um, they think President HS can do everything. When they were saying that Bali can fix it, they were not joking <laughs> to them. They think that Bali can fix everything. But Bali can fix everything. Bali is just one person. In the energy sector, who are the experts in energy? I'm sure you normally see that uh, when the president is vis visiting anybody anywhere, be it in China, be it um, the Kafue Gorge, or whatever, he'll be there explaining things. Let me tell professionals, what are you explaining to them? Sit, listen to them, they should explain to you. As politicians, we do have this political power whereby you can employ and fire anybody in any of these um, government ministries, but you don't have the expertise to be everywhere. So number one, we need to respect the fact that there are professionals in this country that have gone to school to go do those very things that are supposed to be in those offices. UPN needs to respect that. Number two, I know that... Uh, as a country, there are certain contracts that we've signed from colonial days to now, which are tying us to do certain things. Those are my the things, again, that we should change. For example, I always ask this question, 
why are we still buying our fuel from the Middle East instead of our, our neighbors? That is how Africa was set up. By the time the colonialists um, were leaving, and I'm saying this also in the spirit of independence, because we'll be celebrating independence very soon, they left us as mono-economies. Mono they left us as people that were dependent on them. And many years after independence, 50 years after Zambia of independence, we're still doing many things that we should have changed along the way. Okay? Why are we buying um, oil very far off instead of our neighbors uh, from Angola, for example? Why are we not doing that? You know, those are things we need to interrogate. And the European used to say the same thing when they were in opposition. Right now, they've not given us a clear picture as to why they are not doing it. Because it can be one of the solutions. Mm -hmm. Number two, they told us to say that um, they wanted to be buying uh, finished products in terms of uh, fuel and everything. Uh, maybe you can give us the solution that you mm -hmm. have as a... Um, the UCA leadership, mm. apart from what the UPND hasn't done, you've highlighted mm. quite a number of uh, things <coughs> that they haven't done, mm. but you as the UCA leaders, what are you doing? Mm. What is your plan for the people of Zambia? You know, when we look at and, uh, um, mm. Mm -hmm. it is not like it is something that will go away in the mm -hmm. next two or three years. Mm -hmm. Not one uh, rainy season is going to fill up the Kariba and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So. We've been given alternatives, other yeah. energy sources, mm -hmm. but then they don't come cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, an ordinary grandma in Shangombo or any re remote part of the country mm -hmm. cannot afford to have that. Yeah. What is it that you're going to do different? What are we going to do different? Uh, and also, just to answer your question, uh, you know, uh, to say we, we know what the UPN are doing wrong. So when I'm telling what the UPN are doing wrong means we we'll do the opposite of that. You get the point? Number one, I gave you the answer to say we're going to respect the professionals. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they're not respecting professionals, they're hiring cutters into these various uh, uh, places, they are creating this problem. You get the point? So number one, you have to respect professionals to do their job. Number two, we need to utilize Indeni. Indeni was created for a reason. You know, we saw UPND came in and they said that they're going to start uh, uh, buying the finished um, uh, 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 fuel, you know, uh, the finished product instead of, instead of crude oil. They, uh, they brought that into the country and you saw that they, uh, some people had actually uh, perforated where the uh, uh, oil was coming from and they were stealing. So meaning that we should bring it as an unfinished product and purify it here or whatever process that is. Uh, you get the point. So look at what the others have done, okay? Where did they go wrong? Where did they go right? And do just that. With Indeni, would stock up your, is it for three or six months? But now we are seeing that even just the review of fuel, fuel prices, it's done. Uh, monthly. So those are the things we need to stop doing. It's not good for business. When I plan for my business, for your business, you know that you have to plan months ahead. But every month you don't know what um, uh, price it will be. That's why we're coming here yeah, to cover in the morning. When you're talking just to buy um, uh, diesel in the morning, you get a point. Most filling stations in Osaka don't have fuel. I don't know how it is here. You know, why? Because the other month that you saw, the time they were supposed to announce the fuel prices, uh, people thought the fuel prices would go up rather. They, they would go up. So most filling stations were not selling so that they sell us expensively. Then they were shocked it went down. <laughs> when it went down, it was a crisis for them. And for a period of time, they've been trying to withhold um, uh, the fuel, you know. So the monthly review of prices that should be uh, uh, done away with. And we also need to have alternative sources of energy. So be it fuel, be it electricity, <coughs> all those things. We need to ensure that um, we do that. And as political parties, we are lucky that we do have partners that have been coming to the country who have been working with us mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, uh, when we uh, form government or now, when we do maybe um, uh, reach certain stages with them, the certain things that they will bring into the country to ensure that uh, we, uh, we, we we do what we offer people. Not at a large scale, just small issues to do all here. Instead of this, let's do that. There's, there's a... Uh, there are small projects like that that we're doing. The Scottish Social Party has been working with a good number of us, five six polit uh, political parties, uh, you know, just to ensure that um, we, pre we, we, we take to the people the message of not just politics, but ensuring that they look after the environment and uh, they take care of some of these things uh, properly so that you don't impact some of these things. You get the point? Because some of these things are happening again because we are being very, very uh, destructive to the environment. Uh -huh. So when you destroy the environment, the environment won't give you what it is that um, you need back. Uh -huh. So these are among the, uh, some of the things that uh, we are doing as political parties, some, uh, apart from just telling you, <laughs> what comes on the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> right. We want you to be responsible in terms of the environment. 
we want you to know that if I don't do this, do this we cut down trees carelessly and everything, then this is going to be the effect. Interesting. Okay. So, print and calabas. Um, the elephant in the room today is the Lukanga by election. Uh, we hosted you here a few weeks ago, and obviously, you are familiar with the challenges of uh, the people of, of Kabu and now Lukanga. How stable is the citizens' strength in this by election? Number one, I told you, I was a member of the Central Committee. I was a member of the Central Committee. I was a member of the Central Committee. I was a member mafia namayo eule tanta minovunga 05 namayo eule fire marasha ukweba tepi kilava na poreji namayo fiance eule chula ifo tulela nda fiati supporte eni wa msonda pa kweba timumwa ne ifi suma ifi alaisa na totela mkwai uh, na totela wa president hari kalava uh, mwachule ni mwebe na kawe kabidi mwachule ni makamaka mwebe na lukanga Ina machine yandi ni gifti wembi ya chola, mfuma kuchinsari, member of central committee. Tuishile ukweba ati, tulole kesho ukweba ati umunensu yu msonda, mwakwa ato kumuvotela. Pali kanu wakashita, tunatu tu mpone nsala muno mchalo chesu. Nsala tuwale yu mfuafi atikuwa liwe nsala. Lelue nsala na mbana ifika ilipa katika kaifwe, kaili ikali ilimu katika ndupuwa chesu. Eicho pali uvobu shiku wapa fo. Tia ntuka votele umunensu msondo yukweba ti chenji ya mbile na mulu kanga na mwiposha wonse mkwa hiko mwini wonse. 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 Mkwa hiko Township roads, kaya wa mulukanga. Ito ni sotila mulukanga muli nsala ya kasela makuwe. Nomba, ulefo yoku wakansi la mulukanga te kalaba. Ulefo yoku wakansi la mulukanga, ui minini pe, owa uka be minike, kutila mwe CF, ni teri musonda. Yolo bashi musonda na marubali pano. Batila hapa kwa maila nondo, ni shpali ule. So tulefo ya wa teri, batuwewe, pandu, tuanaka, Muna mzambia nora. Kwa te ntungulushi. Kisha palange ishi na tukwete mu UPND. Kisha unini ya my elections. Noko la kuputaolo wa kuputaolo. Kwa te vana kuchechi. Kwa te vana ishi vana ifo kwa ya oda kwa wa. Nomba. Aba nita vana ifo wa ifo ya ifo. E ifo tuletele wa tele. Balande chinka. Kuwena kabu. Elo. Ishu kwa kwa kwecha vena lukanga. Ya kutila wa tele tukala kumbana vena. Pama wa sabote wa kwa wafu. Inesh for about 15 months. 15 months. Nish kuya bebe. Pantu fwa kebe ndegimu. Kuya bebe. Ababa antu naba tuchusha. Naba tuchusha kumufundo. Naba tuchusha kumtengo wabunga. Na muamulu kanga mwede mwede pusheba tiri yaba. Nibanga abantu mulu kangele. Lwabe nga abantu wabale chula. Tawa wako sile kwa mano yu. Pantu wako sile kwa mano kubantu. Tete sixty years mailo, epo zambe ya pakilo buntu ngoa. Sixty years, epo zambe ya pakilo buntu ngoa. Abantu kwa wapi pa paka sanda clinic, tapa liumuti. Wale wale mbele sababu prescription, elowa mufa nombo mti mupate la fim. Chama 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 chama. Sixty years, epo tapa pakilo buntu ngoa. Tatuwa kwa tapa nini sioni? Tulewa abantu kwa kala shito bunga pa fifty kwa cha. Ile la abantu kwa shito bunga three eighty four hundred. Chama 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 chama. Abantunga ba muno vunga kwa 230. Nishi ba muna kwa timana ya kuna kumuru. Nomba kwa tulio vanga ba uka na ba siye fukutila. Mwakuwa te shuko. Na chila yu vale lwa mena nuka ngolu chelo. Nwe nchasa pano. Na chila yu vale lwa mena nuka ngolu chelo. Na chila yu vale lwa mena nuka ngolu chelo. 
Ishuko mwaku wata, chimuno kwa te shuko liya mshimbe Kuna chila beba mm-hmm. Ishuko liya mshimbe wali upo ya wanuwa wali? Yeah, wali upo <laughs> Nga ya uwe Victoria Uwe Victoria tawa upo ni mshimbe Ishuko yenga kwa te uyu Victoria Kusa ngopo wa wantu wa vila wako wana walele kana Uyunga asa ngu mwana nko wale mulonge la panganda Ucha api tila Kulo lela Kumole kuchalala na chii Chile changa na chetato mkashi Kulo lela pali Pangutila nga wama mulonge la Kutu wama lesa landa chino mama mwana Uwa lanchi shila nani malo ndia haku nchito Kwa nguwa ngu vutori ya utukia Anye na mungana So, ishu uko tukwete Nga wawuka Nga wa CF mwini ye election Ya kutila Wa UPND Wala nda landa kepaka nwa Wala jifiru uku mbaba ya Nomba ni fifi nilio nsema presidenti Tapale umfuwa ceremony umuwa traditional ceremony Nishoku wa kutu kila Na mwa mwana fila pangu president Juku wa tafia nchito Ila kutila kutia alevu umba Ndo nga supi kila nilio nsema kutu ceremony umuwa yako Nga mwa minister soko kata nishibanshi Pantu Nishwa baku wa tila gari nkombo Gari nkombo head minister wa local government Ila local government department ya chiefs Hello Tawachi ndika na washa mfumba yupi endi Biko tawachi ndika washa mfumu Tetimuvule ili ya ministry ya chiefs Mwaipaya Yolo mwaipanga nga department Mwavula ministry ya agenda mwaipaya Mwaipanga department It means tamwachi ndika wana mayo Ifo eka tuwa isa ili ya ministry ya agenda It must be a standalone ministry Ifo eka tuwa isa tulei fwaya Washa mfumu pangu Ewe ni mamushidi Ubu fumu mushidi Paku chindikisha wani So Teri, nisha mwana mkabwa tamuwa bimufu mwana But, kuya kuluka anga Usha bantu, nama kwa tama laiti Bebe ni pa radio weshi ya wena nora Bantu, mayo longa tuwa fuma po Pake asa baka bepa kumini ni wa UPND pano Awa kesa mkufu utepe tulela anda Awa kesa mkwa ando kutila yo Ifo na tuwomba, na tuwomba Mubombele kui, bantu imawa mubomba Awa sungu wala anda actions Speak louder than wait Ngo kulanda kwa nishu mulela ndala ndanga mwalibu mba pantu Mwanga mwalibu mba Awantu kuya fe mumpoto Bama na temo chili nama mumpoto Awantu kusha fe kutila wunga na tushita Awantu kusha fe kutila rice to alaria Nomba Bale ando kutila nga mlefilo kushito wunga mwema ya lukanga Nga mlefilo kushito wunga Akulie ni ifima nituwa nika ni ifima hambaga Nomba hambaga Awena lukanga wala kakusina nama Akulie nama pai Ama pai Nata mungu wa chobu wunga kulie nama pai Nata mkwa chobu nga kule nifuma sausage Nishimuwa ishi wa chwale nipunya So, tule milo mba kule ya kushiku pa 4th November Ulu chelo chelo Kavye nika kandeni ya diamani Nekeni wa UPN diba tampi oku ishi wa Ukutia na wanyanda pa danger zone Uwa nga nita fye kubunga Mwanisu ingile wa kaunda kuna mkwa kwe for 27 years Elu wa kaunda wa itemenu wa ikawo Ta pari president wa timi nwaka wenga waka unga But, awe na kawe fio baba wanga wenga kata kubunga Nisi chapa wemu ino wa isule chibu cha kufu wapu Waka unga mwari wa tampi she my election 1991 Nga hawa nisi waka kusuki la 2026 Hawa na wenda kuya bebe li Nomba teri mwanzi la ndapu Pakuti la wenda kawe beshu wakuti na uli inga Mwama na Efu maneka tuto ramo na efu maneka kanseli Wetu wale wale mwere kwa What is it that you're going to do that you know that with the help of the UCA and uh, the citizens first, you are going to deliver to the people of Lukanga? Okay. Thank you, Madam Nora. Thank you, Madam Victoria, for hosting us. Thank you, President uh, 
Kalawa. Thank you, President Savoy. Uh, it's a privilege to be in this radio station again. Uh, to start with, uh, Mukanga people and if in Dopo Tuiminine at the moment. Uh, one of the things that I promise uh, the Lukanga people, one that wasn't there, is community engagement. In the previous uh, councillor, uh, he lacked on uh, community engagement. Then number two, development of the world. There is no development in Lukanga. Ngatwa Lukungu, everything you, you can just see whoever it's a party for the sticker so we are bringing that development and also again the usage of the cdf the outspoken cdf it hasn't been used uh, to the uh, maximum potential that it has so i'm promising the people that we are going to use that cdf uh, to the maximum CDF. This time when I come, they are going to feel it. Okay. CDF um, I think it will be to be uh, even before we post you. There were concerns that were coming to say, How are you going to ensure that? There's transparency because at the moment I think it is quite difficult to get to convince the people of Lukanga to say in Shinka, people want to see action like the president did make mention. How are you going to see to it that you are transparent in your works as you carry out duties as a civic leader? It's like an Afghanga some question of confidence in you you heard from the cause of our candidate. Yes. And confidence in Okay, yes, the other thing, you cut me short, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is protection, offering protection to the people and their resources there in Uganda. And uh, to start with, like yesterday, I said that I'm a man of inte integrity. I'm a man of integrity. I've never had uh, issues uh, in the community. I'm a man of God. And uh, I have been groomed as somebody who has... Uh, uh, I've been groomed with integrity and with people who are who are high in uh, leadership caliber and uh, with that uh, it gives me confidence and also people know me in Lukanga they know me and uh, they can attest uh, themselves to say the, the kind of a person we are dealing with but it depends with the issue that you go with there. So, me, I'm rest, uh, resting assuring you, Balukanga, don't even fear, don't even shake to say, another fracas. I said yesterday to say, uh, youths are different. No, we are groomed different. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm a family man, I'm a responsible man, and I'm doing business. Um, I, I've never had issues, even with, uh, even the Dara A. I've never yeah, had issues. But many a time you get to find that maybe when you get here. If you into if you have a different next name, I'm gonna have to put them touch. How are you going to fight that temptation? Okay, uh, I I have been in business, and uh, I I have been handling money. I have been handling money, and not sm not small notes. I have been handling big big monies and big contracts. So uh, I know what to do because that money which comes muko muad. It is not for me. It is for the community. It is for the for, for the world. It's for the people. So if you have that mentality to say, ah, if you are safe, I think let me have a touch in that. No. 
a, a, a ward councillor has got his own salary. Minding at Tauri Sharp, when we may, if you can't use what you have right there and then, if you don't at Mohambe, if you are quick at a So I think on that one, I am reserved. Okay, another aspect that I want to. But uh, Nora, Nora is a Malayoko. I want to tell you about America. Mama no for that to do a concrete development. We need development that So I'm going to tell you what we need when you the development. So I don't forget about the party. And if you were a president, quite a over yesterday, the district chairman, but I introduced to some uh, Lukanga residents. So after the introduction, then one lady said, Ah, we you a you a Something that I wanted to bring your attention to, Terry. Man, to a type. to is How are you going to make sure that everyone is included in bringing development to Lukara? Okay, that one is very simple. Uh, in that, I belong to a party called the Citizens First. So, Citizens First, not to Shapama citizens. We are looking at the whole people that they are choosing we are looking at everyone so to start with we are dealing with citizens here we are not dealing with the people from uh, citizens first party we are not dealing with people from uka only no it is citizens so i am cautious about that because uh, sometimes you can even be hated by other political uh, party members and they like to say ah wamu uka uri. But when they see how you are working, you are including them in their programs and everything, you find that they will change their mind to say, ah, we thought that he is like this, we thought that like he is this and that. And looking at the way we have grown the party in this town of Kabul, we have included everyone. We have opened doors to everyone who has come. And because of that, you find that a lot of people who have defected from PF, they have joined us from other political parties. So that gives us uh, that gives me an advantage that even when i'm voted as a as a councillor there i will work with everyone i will include everyone in the development because i want to get away in a foot by quite different abilities like bachelor and their poverty but president uh, hh the problem he thinks that is an expert in all the fields it's not true even if you no matter how great you are you cannot be an expert in everything so I believe that each and every one God has gifted us differently. Now that we know more than we know, that more than we are saying that fear is not a fear is change a thing. All right. When we get to talk about um, the political landscape in Lukanga, how is it so far? As you are transversing the world, do you have the freedoms to campaign freely, or are you having limitations here and there? How is the political environment and the landscape in Lukanga world? Okay, so far so good. We haven't had any issues of uh, violence and the like. I'm sure um, the ECZ is taking care of that. They have given us timetables where we can be. Me, like I said, uh, as for me, I don't know. Even those UPND people, you see, when they see me, they just say, honorable, honorable. Other people from the socialist party, it's because of the way I've related with everyone. So I, I don't even know. Uh, there is one time uh, uh, President HH was coming into Kau and there were those bodyguards and the like. So they saw me and the other guys said, ah no, they were a rikala boy, to fuye to amuchita harass and the like. So when they, they sent them to me, then they said, ah, buana kashi ni wa, honare honare. They started greeting me and you started laughing. So it's the way you relate with people and with one another. Okay. Yes. All right. It is your nine five zero six zero eight zero seven zero. That's the number that you are getting through to us on Ngamia Pokuba part of this conversation. Uh, do come through on zero nine five zero six zero eight zero seven zero. The text line is zero nine six six five eight nine two three five. There's a text message here from uh, Nokam in Mumba who says, "Hi there. I have heard that instead of using Chinese, but they use Japan. What's the problem?" 
with that textiles because what's needed is the company to be operational. And so the issues of Mulungushi is something that hasn't started now mm -hmm. and it is something that m most likely we can say sometimes it is used as a campaign tool. How do you we deal with this issue? If my, my President Savoy, you, 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 you assume office as president, what are you going to do different, if at all, the Mulungushi textile will not be open by 2026? Okay, I'll give opportunity to present the Harry Kalaba because he's the one who talks about the Chinese and the Japanese. But just to answer your question, uh, we need to industrialize as um, Zambia. You know, the reason why we had the uh, Mulungushi textiles, Kamshiwe textiles, and all these uh, various uh, uh, companies or factories countrywide in Zambia, Massa factories, you know, the Livingstone uh, Motor Assembly Plant was because Kaunda had an industrialization plan for this country. We had drinks like Tarino, Quench and all those. There was import substitution for things that could be made locally. You can't import everything. That destroys the, uh, the economy. So if you look at uh, uh, NDC, and I'm happy that NDC and CF are very big on industrialization, okay? Um, the motto for NDC is actually job creation through industrialization. You cannot develop, you cannot create jobs without industrialization. That is why the developed countries, another name for these Western countries, the developed countries, their other name is a highly industrialized countries. So we don't even need to be highly industrialized. We'll get there one day, but we need to start the process of industrialization. All right. Meaning Just that. Hold your thoughts, Mr. President. Yeah. We can do another call on the line. Hello, good afternoon, yes, if you can hear again. Fine, thank you, sir. Mula is coming up with more than any. I'm crying. Too much 
Um, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. And let me introduce myself. My, my name is Max Ochongo. I'm the Citizens First National Youth Chairman. Uh, Citizens First understands fully what the youth, not only from Kanga, but the entire Kavu, should I simply say, Central Province they're going through. We understand that even those that were working from that Sirika dam site after being used during campaigns, they have been dumped and people have come from Southern Province, to Saka Province and other provinces to take over what belongs to the people of Kavu. We also fully understand and we are awake to the fact that our young people that do not want to become criminals or prostitutes out there, they wanted to be established to my boot, to my shanty, they wanted to come here to my And this government went with Wakanya and Gunama Jomu, no Panta, to my boot. And those people are jobless as we speak today. So there are so many things that we are looking at. We've got experience, and our party has given the youth the platform to give it solutions on how the challenges that are affecting the young people can be tackled. We have seen most of these leaders that come, they come with all the good promises, but they do not give the young people the platform to present the solution to their problems. Mm -hmm. And once they get into power, young people have forgotten and they are calling them cadres. We are aware that people were chased from bus stations in the name of no capitalism, but the government has got nowhere to take them. We are aware that young people have been chased even from the market in the name of no cadderism, yet UPND cadders have resurrected from different areas into Kawe, and those that were in the markets and bus stations, they have got nowhere to run to. We are aware about this gimmick where they are calling people to say cash for what? For what? For what? The companies that were employing them, you close them, because you believe that they worked with the previous government. Mm -hmm. And then you've come up with that idea, which is not sustainable. Nobody in Enfula So all that has been factored into Citizens First Manifesto. And I want to believe that when I'm living here, I'll give you because I believe that you, the fourth estate, you've got the duty and responsibility to alert the public there on what we intend to do. We intend to do. Mm -hmm. Because many people are misled, but I can assure you that the citizen first means well. And we have heard from the callers. They are talking about kawalas. And once enough, you show why we are building materials. And the person who store building materials does not come from citizen first, neither do they come from NDC or from UCA or Heritage Party or PF. We all know where that person is coming from. And for this time around, we want to tell the people of Kawa, to Kanga what to be specific. This is now the time for Don't You Ever Patch 2. Go out there, get if Tengenga Wami Perafia UPND, get them. The t shirts, get them. Don't even say no Valentine Chipan. Get the money when they give you. It's your money that they don't give you when you're supposed to get it. So they'll bring it during elections, get it. When they call that there's food, make sure now women can be repeat. <laughs> but when that day comes for voting, stand up there and ensure that you vote for the right person and that right person we have given you fan homes on. And uh, citizens first, we want to tell the people of Kawe and Central Province in particular that this time around, Kalawa, Takamirave, and it's Donch Kuveva Patch 2. Interesting. And so, uh, speaking on the issue of the youth, uh, many a times, 
uh, the youth get to feel left out. And uh, even just when we get to look at um, already, there is some program for the cash for work that has been talked about. <coughs> there have been um, uh, complaints to say others are being left out and what not. If you were to come into power as a citizen first or as an alliance, how would you deal with this issue of unemployment differently? Especially considering the fact that there are so many youths, graduates that are on the streets, they've got the papers, but they can't find employment. They can't do business because the cost of doing business is quite too high. The fact is that the New Dawn administration, they do not have a model or a plan on how to empower the young people. And this is the reason why even their own people have risen against them. And now they're trying to use all these funny, funny methods. Cash for, what, what is it called? Cash for work. Cash for work. Now I want to ask you, where have you ever seen an advert for people to be considered for cash for work? How is it administered? This is the bogus program that they are using to empower their country. <coughs> and this program does not mean well to average citizens out there that are going through unprecedented levels of high cost of living, high cost of electricity, high cost of fuel price, commodity prices escalating, load shedding, even in Gaza where there is war, people are just not shedded for four hours. But here in Zambia where there is no war, there has never been war, people are being load shedded for 22 hours. We have seen that this government has got nothing whatsoever in terms of any plan that they can use to empower people. Mm -hmm. And all they are, they are good at, the only thing they've achieved so far is telling the good lies that they're doing. And as citizens first, we've got a plan which is laid down there, even in our part manifesto, on how these people will be empowered. And I, will, I can assure the people of Zambia, come to our offices, or the people of Kawe, the people of Lukanga, visit our party structures and ask for the party manifesto, which will guide you on how we want to do it differently because like it like the party name itself it's citizens first meaning it's the zambian people first if we're in Lukanga, it's the people of Lukanga first before we think about other people if we're in Kawa, it's the people of Kawa before we think about other people i heard you talking about i heard you asking our council about how peaceful these elections have been the campaigns have been so far and yeah and he said no so far so good it's not so far so good as we were coming here the police were trying to intimidate our leaders. Some of us who had the problem with the vehicle remained behind, but when we came into, we were told that our leader was being intimidated. And he asked because the timetable, the, sh the schedule shows that he's supposed to be in town today. Mm -hmm. Now we wonder where our leader, President Arikala, was supposed to pass. Whether it was in air, or he was supposed to use the chopper or not, because they, they wanted to block him. When we finished the meeting in town, personally, I was there at the meeting. When the meeting finished, as we are coming here, we are being followed. There are video footages. We are being followed by UPND cadres in two corollas, waving their symbol and saying all sorts of insults. And we said, we have been told by our leader to always be calm in the face of storm and not to use violence in our politics at citizen's face. It's got no space. And we want to ask the UPND leadership if for sure there is peace here. Then they should talk to their cadres to stop harassing other people. All right. Just to echo on issues of, of one is and two, are you promoting one is the party? Of course, Namland, Abasa, and Konka, but how do we know citizens first? When we in the paper. The reason why citizens first is in Uka is because we are promoting oneness. So it stands from the leadership. It's, if the leadership is able to promote oneness, mm -hmm. it trickles down to the people. Mm -hmm. But we have seen other political parties, leaders are refusing. They even refuse to attend certain functions for as long as. Certain leaders are there, yeah. but uh, as citizens first, I can safely and confidently tell you that we are promoting that both in words and deeds. Okay, all right. What's issue here happening in Black Mountain? Have you had the time to just uh, verify to see? Oh, Oka, Niaba, and have you taken uh, uh, note of who's there and how they are operating? Yes, I'm aware about it. Uh, uh, I want to tell you that, like I said in the beginning, I said the UPND government does not have a plan on how to empower people. What it did when they won the elections, they just said everyone goes to the Black Mountain and that's empowerment. Mm. And the people of Kitwe have been affected badly. Let me just say the entire Copa Bell because of <coughs> that situation. And as citizens first, we believe that 
we have certain departments that are responsible to look at opportunities that can be used to empower people. And I can simply tell you that Zambia has been blessed with 10 provinces with, which has got different activities of economic value that can be used with proper political will from the leadership to empower young people. We don't need people to get, to get people from southern province, Lusaka, western province, eastern so and northwestern and dump them. And, yes, yes, and then just dump them on the copper belt and say we have empowered the youth. And then on top of that, the same leaders in UPND are also part of that same simple empowerment that is supposed mm -hmm. to go to the young people. Yeah. We want to tell you that at Citizens First we've got a different plan and we are going to do it differently. And we will tell you that Chimbama way, Tete Aruke Farm one day. There is no way someone who has been believing in Black Mountain, you just go to them and say, no, you have to start farming or anything or something like that. We are going to ensure that the opportunities that are in the copper belt, the first people to enjoy the, the priority should be given to the locals. Okay. Because we believe that each and every province has been blessed with activities of economic value, okay. which only needs a proper leader in place to actualize them into real-time opportunities, okay. which we have already sorted out as citizens' first. And we know what is happening today is a sad situation because our people now have got nothing to do and the only thing they're doing is to jump on innocent, uh, on trucks, private trucks that are carrying copper to start stealing. And we are losing uh, I wonder what they pass because they're trying to earn a decent living to provide for their family with nothing to do with the result, all sorts of wrong things, all sorts of vices, which is leading to quite a number of deaths on the copper belt. All right. Yeah. So, should we put it on record that Navari Kuma Black Mountain, Bafumine Kuma Southern Province? Navari Kuma Black Mountain, Bafumine Kuma Province, yeah. I'm going to put it on record. All right. Yeah. Let's take a look at the program. Navari Kuma 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 Kuma
ndepo ya katua ni la machinda baka mitu wa loko wepe ngombe kalieni na ho elu mwe mtu shana kumayanda elu kia haku chita pa 4th november haku chita tuwa mbiyo kuhirula inaende miebe bala anda chukwa alinsoke sakwa fuile mtu elu ukwebele mpwa ya kwa anoka na umutaji kwa chwa wa chipusha wali ya wa matata sile pusha pali wa japani na wa china pamula nduwa munu kushi textiles Efi wachava, mazambi ya wali pokele bilateral aid Ufu makuli wa China Ia kupanga mulu ngushi textiles Elo wa pokele hili ya bilateral aid Chile pibulo kutila, inda lama shonze cha kukuli ya mulu ngushi textiles Shafu mini ku China, pantu hii mulu ngushi textiles Tiai ni counterpart funding yiyo Ya alifi ni funding to the gift Ufu makuli wa China No baba yu pia ndi wale mwena kwa tifole twice kwa kuna ukawwe. Mwena kwa kutila ufifa mepele ya mwena kawwe. Uwa kusura mwena ngushi textiles. Mwena wa shupa. E kuya wepo ufiati wa japani na mwese ni umone kwa. Takuwa mepele na ufia ufumu. Na ufia ufumu tuwa kwa tamuno mzambia. Ufumu mga kwa wena nguluwe. Tetumue mwuri ya wena nsoka. Obe sa wapia ufumu wa wena nguluwe chaka. E chumochi yena hii ni mwena ngushi textiles. Nga mwalisa ina bilateral agreement na wa China Tetumi ya musende wa Japan Atisele mtu mwene kwa machine Mkia litele wa China Chaka ana So Temula nduwa wa Japan na mshani But nga mwelefu wapuisu na mwurungushi textiles Hii nipe mwurungushi ya wapa Kano wa China wapone ni mwuru Pantu Ewa mwasa ina wena wa papers Nga mba kuna ukawe kwa ina kifuko Tuwale ipanyila masaka Mwuno mkawe Siki sika yeza mwato wapo kilo untu mwa mailo Ama saka alifu maku China. Tatuwa kwa tani nsoni. Siki ste yes. Kupa tuwa pukilo mtu ungo. Kwa tule mbele tela abantu. Aba kuwete chi monwa. Tule mbele tela abantu. Aba kutila muambio kusala nomba. Kuda wa lele ngulula. Atiyo. Awe ni aba afiriwa. Because. Aba yupi endi. Bari inga uli ongu lumendo wa upongwa na kashipanga anda. Ali upongwa na kashipanga anda. Kupanga anda mwala wa president. Bari kale inia kaibidi. Mungu anakashita kumbu wapo yolo wanya kuchuru Na kuwa nchilentu taa ya po Chilaba na ma Chilaba na ma mungu anawa kari pacha hao Tetumule kari fanganda Mungu anawa situ na msenda Yolo wame po pati yo Mpenduko mulungu umu Mwala mwini karata huli mungu anakashita Chaka Bari kupele two years Kupali to watch it Nomba mwini wali 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 pichu wala bomba mwani vitoto Kupali mwala bomba kutuso Ipe tulela neta kutila Hava na hava filu wanga wa UPND Elo kufiru wata kuchila hapa Basa tolo wali wa president Basa taba kufuile after 3 years No kufuwa wa kufuwa wa saka 3 years pali ku president Mwali mwene oba lenji wa tuende shewo Evo wafya Mwale ande kushinka Ate nishini Basa ta after 3 years Kufiru wa kufuwa mbele Fina mleka no kumweleka Wali pangile masa no wing road Mwale 2 years Wali pangile Ntua nika ne Imise wama bridges all over the country Ama school wali kude Mwani 3 years Umwa umia sungo umwa na kashi talu vika Talu vika Kutu waishi wa ngole upa kumulu mendo Wama nafifi ya fuele Waishi wa chuyu Ma problems in them Wama nafifi ya lenda Waishi wa chuyu mu rasta So Na wame neba UPND We are wasting time with them Nora We are wasting time They are wasting our time Because there is no way UPND is going to take us Yeah. All right, Mr. Boy, your last remark, maybe in 30 seconds. Well, my last remark is that as, a peop uh, as people are voting in the field of going together, they like to lie that you can get a vote as you are voting. This is how the voted. Your vote is secret, okay? Your vote is secret, they won't see anything. Sometimes they lie to people, put my camera, no cover, you can't ink it, and some people are ready to turn blue, nothing like that. Once you vote, nobody can know. And lastly, Apart from the industries, the mines, and everything you've talked about, Saka, Rupaiman, but very talented money. Some of the best artists in this country have come from Kaf. When a Fortune Yondo, when a Biflo, when a Dreams, when a Yoma, so on, they are from Kaf. Why don't we have big studios right here in Kaf? So, apart from other things, we need to cultivate talent. So, those are my things that a, a thinking government should do because God blesses us differently. Others are blessing up in the border. Others you end up with school, others by limba. So all those things are things that you find right here in Kabul and the thinking government should be able to consider that. 
All right. And so this is where we have to wrap it up. Uh, and uh, we should uh, just take the time to just wish.